what was the first song that you started this project with? It was actually two. I started two at the same time. Uh, one was the Grave Digger song. It's the first song on the record, and the other one was Leviathan, which comes towards the end. They're uh, not similar songs, but they somehow went together, and they also sort of seemed like bookends. The one seemed like a towards the end of the record song, which is where it's at. It's not the last song, but it's towards the end. And the other one seemed like, wow, this would be a really appropriate opener. And so I sort of had those two uh, signposts and then uh, sort of built the road between them. In what time frame were these songs written? Was it one year or maybe a few months? Or? Well, we started in January and we finished in, I think, May. So, three or four months. Yeah, they were all written as they were recorded. I wrote only twelve, and they were the twelve that were on the record. That was also new for me. Usually, I'm, you know, writing songs the entire way and throwing them out and bringing in new ones and getting all uh, into the minutia of uh, sequences and stuff like that. But these I did, and they, I was happy to have twelve, and the sequence came really quick, and I had a record. So. That was that. Okay. And if you, well, how do you write? Do you start off with the music? Or, or maybe a line, or maybe an idea, or maybe a well, soundscape? Um, usually I'm making, uh, you're playing guitar, although with this record I did a lot of it on the keyboard and uh, started, computer? started some on the synthesizer and started some with the old drum machines and uh, started from that point of view. But, uh, Generally, usually I'm starting with the guitar, making sound with my voice, playing chords, making sound, and uh, until I do something that seems pleasing, and I might sing a couple of words, and out of those words, one of them might seem like a real word, and it might tell me what the next word is, and so on and so forth. It's really, um, you know, pretty basic. I, uh, it's like, to me, it's like building a fence. You know, just start at the at the root and do whatever seems appropriate, taking like the next indicated step. And what that is is just something that's, you know, my brain is telling me is the next indicated step. There's really no map or any uh, way to do it that's right or wrong, but. But if you listen back to these songs and maybe all the subjects they deal about, can you say, well, in hindsight, this was maybe, well, uh, occupying me bothering me or maybe something I was thinking about or that I went through to, in my life? Um, you know, all the songs I've ever done were rooted in something real, you know, in something personal. But that might be something that actually happened to me or it might be something that actually happened to you that I heard about. Or it might uh, be some idea that I had. It might be something that uh, came to mind as I watched a leaf drift from a tree. You know, I mean, it can really be anything. And um, the totality of a song, the lyrics, is just, again, whatever seems natural to me and, and seems like the, what comes after A is B. And, uh, you know, the song progresses in, in such a way. What they mean all, overall, I mean, I might be able to say, well, there's bits and pieces of this or that. You know, this idea came from here. This line specifically refers to the overall thing is this or that. Um, yeah, they're rooted in something real. But that said, I would never impose my interpretation of a song on anybody else because for me, the music that I've always loved the most is music that nobody told me what it meant. And in fact, you know, some of the music I've loved the most had the most sense of mystery. And I had to draw my own conclusion and, and see my own movie. You know what I mean? And uh, so in that regard, I never really wanted to know what Neil Young meant by, you know, after the gold rush. There's just a sense of mystery there and a beauty, and that's all I need to know, and it puts me in a different place. Yeah. Um, so when I make music, uh, I, I in no way, shape, or form um, think that I could do what Neil Young does to me, to other people. But I'm trying in my way to make songs that uh, give me that same feeling. And that's all. And so uh, it's up to whoever hears it. And, and then again, making these songs, I realize I've, I've never thought they were for everyone, you know? But 
a certain amount of people might hear them, and out of that uh, group of people, some of them might listen a little closer, and some of them might deeply feel it. And um, I'm making it for those people who want to hear it, and it's up to them to uh, to tell me what it's about. You know what I mean? That's what gets me into it. What did someone say to you about the song The Grave Digger song? Um, someone said it's a love song. What do you mean? <laughs> and I said, well, I, you know, I won't argue about that. <laughs>